Hello friends, welcome back. So now let's see how things we can do. Um, so uh, we have to like uh, I have created this class file, okay, a uh, class customize, okay, and that I have included into the functions.php file and also initialize initialize that class here, okay. Um, so this class uh, add the customize add action for on the customize register and then registering the content options for example, okay so similarly like in the handbook page we have seen that we have to hook a register callback function to the customized register and which will pass the object of this wp customize manager so into the wp includes folder you can see this file wp class wp uh, customize manager.php file so this is the class okay which is the ma uh, main uh, managing of this customizer api basically okay so um and then we, we will use the, the functions of, for adding the panels and everything okay so here uh using this wp customize object calling this add panel okay function to add a panel okay uh so here you can see this content options panel okay and you can uh, and you can see the content descriptions as well okay so uh, go to the add panel okay so this is the add panel uh, method and then it will initialize the object of the wp customize panel class okay so for every parts for every parts like panel section settings and the controls every 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 parts of that customizer objects have that uh, their own classes okay so if you want to know more about like what are the arguments it accept and if we just click on a customize panel and go to the constructor method and you can see what are the uh, arguments it required okay so here manager and id have been passed the manager has been passed by the customizer manager manager by passing the dollar this object okay and then what are the id and arguments we have passed from this add panel so that have been so add a panel which will provide the id this could this will be the unique id so that it it won't be conflict with other customizer settings provided by the plugins external plugins okay so and uh in the customizer in the arguments array we can uh you can see the number of uh arguments you can see the priority priority of the panel defining the display order of the panels and sections so default is 160. so if i go to the uh, site here and if you go a little bit below you can see this um uh, you can see these uh, sections and everything so their titles the ids and the priority okay so default is the 160 so be, be, uh, so basically using the priority you can uh, you can uh, change the order of the display of the content options okay so currently our content option or any customizer uh, panel or section can be added uh, above or below of the particular uh, settings or sections right so currently above our uh content option panel displayed about the additional css records it's a default so you can see here it's a content option so if you want to move it after the site identity as an example let me just go to the home page settings after the home page settings for example so uh before the home page settings uh okay i um here so home page settings it's not and it's provided by the uh, theme okay so what uh what priority have been used by that team and based on that we can make a changes so if i go back to the code base uh, go to the 2021 team go to the classes okay and you can see all the files here so here you can see the customize um and probably they have they will have added it here the accept settings they have added a section and maybe about that they have added a home page settings or something let me just see what accept settings they have used one uh, priority 120 okay and uh, let me just check whether the home page settings okay no home page settings would be added by the um the, by the core wordpress core okay so uh, it could be the 120 we have so let me just try 110 for example so if i go here and add 110 priority and uh, refresh the page now you can see the content option about the home page settings okay um so we have changed it the like position of our panel okay and then there are a couple of uh, uh 
let me just close also yeah now there are a couple of uh, arguments like capability so you can you can pass the capability required for the panel so default is added theme options which i have added like by default i have added the same so basically like if you want to allow the uh you want to manage the capability of that photo panel so like if you want to provide uh you access to the, some users then based on that you can manage the capability you can have a custom capability you can assign that custom capability to the different uh, default roles like administrator or editor or author and then they can change it so using this pro argument you can manage that uh, capability so you will uh if you haven't was my our um, roles and capabilities videos then please watch that it will give you more idea how these capabilities and the uh, access uh, and the uh, roles all things are works together how it works right okay and uh, there are team supports if you want to provide uh, if you want to display uh, the settings if the team or if the team has declared the support so for example uh, like for example we have movie library plugin right so movie library plugin providing some settings customizer settings okay but also it depends whether that um we have provided a settings so your user will get the user interface to 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 manage the settings but what about applying those settings into the front end which will be done by the team right and if team providing that okay if team declaring the supports okay i have added a support for the settings registered by the movie library plugin then um we will display the settings to the to the users else we won't display because even if we display the settings it won't be applied to the front end because team haven't applied or implemented those settings so in that case you can use the team support so you can register a team supports for content options and then uh, we can declare that okay so we will see how it works okay um then the title and the description you can provide so i have provided the title and the description here uh then the type of the panel so it will be the default okay there are multiple like there are themes uh, type panel um then few other uh, types of the panel okay so that you can use or that you can manage okay and uh, active callback function whether you want to active callback function is used uh where whether you want to display this panel on particular page right for example uh if you go if you uh if you like this is to my home page right and if you go to the content option you don't see the post details here and if i go to the blog page then you can see the post details here because the post details are uh, options only apply to on the blog page where the list of uh, there are list of the post displayed okay um and the footer options is always there because copyright text will be displayed on all the pages okay not just on a specific pages and that's why like uh this active callback function use for that whether you want to display your settings including the panel sections or everything on particular page right where it's it's going to apply and this way uh, we can have a better user experience okay currently i haven't added the active callback because i have added this active callback uh, we can we have this active callback argument for for sections and the for control for control as well okay so i have added that to the uh, controls okay yeah and uh, yeah so these are the arguments you can pass and you can add a panel so content options panel have been added and then now we have the section so into the uh, into the content option panel we have two sections post details and the footer okay so i have added add section so if you go let me also close this one okay and add section into the customizer manager it will call create a class of the wp customize section okay and if you go here in, uh, you can in the documentation you can see the priority we already we have talked about priority then panel which uh, like um this section belong to which panel so we have to provide that uh, uh, panel here okay and uh, <clears throat> and the capability similarly if you want to provide the capabilities so we have a panel panel will, will have multiple sections and you have a different capabilities for different sections to to provide the access to the users then you can manage it right through this capability uh, argument then the team support similarly if the user want to declare a team support based on that they can do then title and the description the type of the section then active collab or active not active collab <laughs> active callback okay um so for whether you want to display this section on on home page or based on the based on the 
uh, based on the condition. So I have added the is home because is home is home is the function. So we have we have to provide a callback function name here, and uh, customizer API will display will callback this function and we, and based on if it's written through, then it will display the section into the customizer else it will hide it okay so is home will be written true if uh, the current page is the block page where the list of the posts have been displayed okay so that's why i have added is home here and and you can see the description hidden hide the description behind the help icon okay so i have provided the false by default so um so if you go here um it's displayed here like the post details description okay behind them uh, thing so um i have passed it through so that's why it's hidden if i pulse a false uh then and refresh it and go to the content options go to the block page uh, go to post details and you can see the post details description displayed always and the help icon it's not there okay so you can manage that way let me just change it back to true okay yeah so this way you can we have added a section uh, to customizer uh, under the our content options panel okay uh, and also here also you can have that priority and you can manage that priority okay thanks for watching see you on the next one jay wordpress